Welcome to Unshakable with Human Design, the show dedicated to helping entrepreneurs use human design to shift from hustle to flow without sacrificing results. Come here to become an unshakable human and build an unshakable business according to your human design. I'm your host, Nicole Lano. Hello and welcome to Unshakable with Human Design, everybody. I'm your host, Nicole Lano, and today I want to talk about being seen as an expert, being seen as an authority. Now, this is a topic that I bring up because it's so important when you're building a business according to your human design. This show is geared toward entrepreneurs. This show is geared toward people who are looking to be speakers, who are looking to be authors, who want to be seen as experts in their space. And a lot of people are looking to human design to do that because it does hold the keys to what makes us special, right? So in order to be seen as an expert, what ends up happening is, let me back up for just a second and just say that a lot of people that come to me or that I come into contact with, and I mean this at all levels, I see this from several levels, like from people who are just starting out to people who are more established business owners that still come to me when I tell them what I do. And they're so interested in it because they're saying things like, I feel like I know what I do and I'm really good at it, but I can't talk about it in a way that necessarily makes people very interested in what I do or lets them know right away that I can help. And I don't feel totally confident talking about what I do or they feel like they have all these pieces, but they don't necessarily fit together into a brand that really reflects the depth of what they can do. So it always feels like they're scratching the surface, that there's a deeper level that they can get to. Maybe it is working as far as drawing in clients, but maybe those aren't exactly the right clients. They want to up level the people that they're working with. And if you think about why people pay you more, why people become sought after in their industry, in their field, is they become an expert at something. And the old way to think about that was like, well, let me just develop a real skill. And skills are important. I'm assuming if you have been through this, if you're looking into human design for your business, that you have a skill that you want to market, that you want to put out there. Or what I think often gets overlooked is sometimes there is a expert positioning that you could apply to your skill that you're not. And all old school marketing will tell you to niche down. They will tell you to get very clear on what you do, how you help and exactly what you do for people and to go to a really, really defined niche. You know, that can be the person and it's also what you do for that person, right? And a lot of people don't feel comfortable getting super niche down because we feel like we're excluding people. We feel like we're not really encapsulating all that we do. And this is what is great about human design is that it gives you permission to go all in on the thing that you are cosmically good at, the thing that your soul was put here on this earth to do. And a lot of us know that from a high level standpoint where we're like, I know that I'm put on this earth to help in the way that I'm helping, but how can we feel really empowered to say, I'm really good at helping you with this exact thing? The human design was scary for me to double down on five years ago or four years ago now. It was very scary for me to say like, this is what I'm going to put all of my eggs in. I'm going to put them in this basket. I'm going to let go of some of these other things that I'm doing and I'm going to get really clear on this. And all of those pieces started to come together and I felt more and more empowered to make those moves and to get very clear about helping people with messaging, with human design and the way that I help through following my chart, through my human design. We did an episode with Caitlin Anthony, my client, so you can hear her talk about this process. But her genius is in helping people through big life transitions. Why? Because she's had big life transitions herself. And she's very good. Her genius is doing things very efficiently. Now, what I'm saying might not sound super mind-blowing, like, oh, well, she knew that stuff about herself. But the truth is, is that she did not feel fully empowered to go after it the way that she is now. She was still talking about all these other things that she did. That was something that she mentioned, but she did not hit the gas on it as hard as she could. She did not go all in on these aspects of herself until now. And that is because we dove into her chart. We dove into 
her genius brand is what I call it. We've built her genius brand around her actual genius. You can hear her talk about it. She's like, I've just never felt so aligned in what I'm speaking about. I've never felt so confident. I know what I'm selling. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm building. And that's so crucial because experts and authorities do not show up halfway. They're all in. They are out there unapologetically speaking about what they do from such a empowered, I've got this sort of place, like I'm meant to do this. Tony Robbins makes you feel like, and this is what I'm here for, man. And I'm going to do it and I'm going to do lots of things, but I am here to empower people. That is what he is walking around feeling and that is what he projects out. And that is why people respond to him so strongly. If you listen to this show for a while, you've probably heard me say, you can't be an authority to others until you are an authority to yourself. You've heard me say that if you've listened to the show. That's very true. But let's assume that you've done the deconditioning work. You've become an authority to yourself where you feel pretty confident because lots of people are confident. But now you want to align with a deeper level, go deeper with your confidence all the way down to a level of purpose. And that's what I call building your genius brand, is getting down into the very specific aspects of your nature to see what your specialty is, to really hone in on your expertise. And by going through this process, by understanding yourself, it takes you from being really vague and broad with your message, vague and broad with your brand, with what you do. And when you're vague and broad, that's where you ramble when people ask you what you do. You're not very direct. You don't feel confident. You feel like, oh, I screwed that up. Like you're always working on your brand. But when you are specific and tailored and you feel empowered by what you're doing, where you're like, I'm living my purpose. When I speak about my brand and when Caitlin speaks about her brand now and when other people inside my business by design mentorship, when they speak about their brand, they know that this is what they are here to do. And they know how they do it and they know who they're here for. It changes your energy. It changes the way that you present yourself. I teach building a genius brand is what I call it, which is a brand just centered around your innate genius, your soul's purpose. So we're taking purpose, but we're actually putting it to work. We're putting it to purpose. We're letting your purpose work for you and through you. And I do that through a combination of things that I call the authority matrix, which are eight elements in the human design chart that magnify your authority. I'm not going to go through the entire authority matrix here, but if you want to go through this in detail and you want to learn all about the authority matrix and what it takes to really build a business according to your human design, you want to sign up for my masterclass. We are actually running the Authority Accelerator Masterclass. We are running it once again. This is my most popular free thing that I do. It is a free masterclass that I teach every few months or so, and we're running it again. And it is absolutely packed with value. I take you through the entire process for building your business according to your human design. And I do that over the course of five days. It's called the Authority Accelerator. It's totally free. All you have to do to register is DM me the word masterclass on Instagram. I'm at Nicole Lano official or go to nicolelano.com forward slash masterclass and we can register you right there on the website. OK, so what we're taking you through in the workshop is everything. It's not even just the authority matrix. I take you through becoming an authority. I take you through genius brand. And then I take you through the strategic aspects of building a business that is sustainable, the infrastructure for your business so that you make your brand sell something. Because so many people are only teaching part of the process and I don't feel an integrity to do that. So I make sure that you're building a business that is built around your personal purpose, letting your purpose work through you. But that also makes you money, that you know how to actually channel that brand into something that sells and pays your bills. So that's what that is all about. But let's come back to just the brand that we're talking about in this episode right now, what I'm talking to you about. Here's what Genius Brand does. So when you start to look into your human design chart and you look at your conscious sun, and you look at your conscious earth, and you look at the relationship between those gates, and you look at your nodes, and you start to understand what those mean to your brand, and you look at your Mercury gate, which everybody puts so much emphasis on, but it's only a piece of the puzzle as far as my framework is concerned. 
but you look at your Mercury gate and you start to see something take shape. You start to see how these pieces work together. Now, it's not always so easy to do on your own because you have to know what these gates mean and you have to know how they would play off of each other. And that's what someone like me is here for. <laughs> but this is the process. And here's the thing. I have found that everyone is kind of looking for a person, a coach, an agency, somebody to pull their genius out for them, right? How can they, you know, tell me what my genius is? Tell me what you see. Now, first of all, that's abdicating your own authority there quite a bit. That isn't how it works for most of us. If you're a projector, now that's a little bit different, you're going to be getting recognition for things. But it's not going to be necessarily you walking up to people being like, tell me what makes me great. It might not be a coach that necessarily sees that in you if you're a projector. It's going to be the people that you're meant to help. So there are ways that we work with our design to help us find it in ourselves. Because what happens when you're in this place of searching for your purpose and trying to find the thing that makes you special and trying to find the thing that you can go all in on so that people actually respond to you by putting their credit cards down is you can't outsource your authority. You can't outsource your genius. I can't tell you what makes you special. I can give you ideas and I can give you places to look, but you have to find your own genius. You have to own it. You have to know it is an activation that happens within you. It is a process that you go through that once it's activated in you, then everybody starts to see it. But that has to take place inside of you. That's the rub here is that so many people are like, tell me what it is. I'm always telling people what I see. I'm giving them suggestions. I am putting things out there for them to respond to, for them to hear, for them to have some experience with. I let them know what gates mean but they have to find it on their own or it's not theirs. And if it's not theirs, they can't go out into the world and sell it. And that's what we're trying to do, right? That's what being an authority in the marketplace in our industry, our expert positioning comes down to our expertise. So it works through you, not from the outside saying, here it is, here you go, now run with it. That feels like you're wearing somebody else's clothes that don't quite fit. You don't know what that purpose really is to you. My purpose on paper is very, very different than the way that I view it and what it means to me and how it reflects out in the work that I do. And that's because I've done the work. So if you're interested in doing the work and going deeper with us on this for free, all you have to do is go to the masterclass, go to the Authority Accelerator Masterclass, register now. All you have to do that is go to Instagram and DM me the word masterclass. I am at Nicole Lano official or go to nicolelano.com forward slash masterclass and you can register right there on the website. I hope you join us because it's a fabulous masterclass that nobody should miss. If you are looking to build a business built on your own authenticity, purpose, and actually have a business that is sustainable and makes you money, that's what it's all about. So I hope to see you there. And remember, in order to have an unshakable business, you must first become an unshakable human. So thanks for letting us help you become unshakable with human design, everybody. We'll see you next time. If you love this episode and you're a fan of the show, please show us the love on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you're listening to the show and leave us a review. And if you'd like to connect with other entrepreneurs on their human design journey, join our free Facebook community, Human Design for Entrepreneurs. Go to nicolelano.me forward slash podcast links to join the group, book a human design reading with me, or access our free human design resources. We'll see you there.